a wish has been granted. Calling adventurers from across the globe. Saudi Arabia after the discovery of Dragon Balls with wish-granting powers. To experience an unprecedented, immersive entertainment destination. <laughs> Here, fantasy and thrills collide. Play a part in the epic sagas coming to Saudi Arabia in the first city built for play. All right, what is up? This is Slow Plays, and guys, we have breaking news for a brand new Dragon Ball theme park. It's in development, construction is already happening, and this just blew my mind this morning when I saw it, okay? This is huge for anime and just Dragon Ball fans in general. Uh, before you get too excited, this is something exclusive to Saudi Arabia, okay? Uh, this is not something that's gonna be in Japan or the US or, you know, it's not a worldwide thing, all right? Um, I know that's a little bit surprising. You would think Japan would get something like this first. I believe Japan does have a theme park that had that like 4D, uh, movie Dragon Ball ride or something like that. I can't, I, I don't know the specifics of that, uh, but um, I guess it makes sense just because uh, if you guys are like Saudi Arabia is, is they, they got money, right? Okay, uh, they're they're doing this massive Kadia project. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's Kadia. I, I apologize if I'm mispronouncing that. Um, it's this huge project where it's going to be uh, all entertainment tourism based, okay? Uh, this whole thing is specifically for tourists, all right? So that's why they're probably doing it specifically in this country, okay? So let's read the actual uh, description of everything so you guys know the scope of how insane and ambitious this project is, okay? The Saudi Arabia-based Kadia Investment Company has announced that it will be constructing the world's only ever Dragon Ball theme park as part of its Kadia Giga project. Now, this entire project is going to have a bunch of other things. I think it's been planned since 2019, and uh, it's got, I think, a lot of, I think it's like over 40 different projects, like, pretty much ready to go, uh, I think, since last year. Uh, I don't know if they if they even know when this is going to be ready or whenever, but this is, again, this is still a concept right now, okay? It's not, like, uh, completely done yet, okay? Before somebody's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to fly over there right now and go check it out. Uh, the Dragon Ball theme park will boast a whopping size of over 500,000 square meters and feature seven different areas that recreate various iconic locals from the original series, such as the Kame House, Capsule Corporation, and Beerus's Planet. At the park, visitors will be able to join an adventure with Goku and pals as they enjoy the world of Dragon Ball from the very beginning of the anime all the way up through Dragon Ball Super. The theme park will feature five state-of-the-art rides as part of a lineup of 30 plus attractions. Like this is massive, dude. <laughs> and it will, uh, if that wasn't already exciting enough, construction of a 70 meter high Shenron, a 70 meter Shenron, like full on Shenron is also planned with this landmark containing a large scale roller coaster inside. <laughs> okay. Uh, in addition, there will also be fully stocked hotels and restaurants available at the park to enable fans to immerse themselves in the world of Dragon Ball for an entire day of fun. Stay tuned for the details about this amazing project that will bridge the world of Dragon Ball in real life. If you guys want an IRL Dragon Ball experience, this is going to be it, right? So uh, I already showed the trailer uh, at the beginning of the video. Here are the concept uh, arts for this. Uh, there's a lot of different... I mean, I, I'll just, I'll just check them all out here because again whenever dragon ball official site posts this stuff anytime that they have screenshots it's always horrible shit quality so uh we have we're just gonna have to go with the low res here but um you can see these this is just a concept okay this isn't actually how it looks right now okay we don't know how it's gonna look whenever it drops but i think that's the 70 meter high shenra like this already looks insane dude you have um corn's tower right there you have uh what is it the world tournament you got um, Capsule Corporation, Kame House. Uh, oh, that's going to be crazy. Like having like a, a fake beach. Like they're going to make like a beach, like a little beach with like water around it and stuff. Okay. Uh, that's going to be insane. Beerus's Planet. I've always wanted to go to Beerus's Planet, y'all. 
Uh, we have Muscle Tower, I think, over there. Uh, Red Ribbon Army. I think that actually might be the Red Ribbon uh, Army, uh, the new, like, one that they made from Dragon Ball Super Super here, I think. I could be wrong about that. Uh, we got uh, another Shenron here. Uh, this one is more like... I think that one might be the ride. I could be wrong. Uh, and then just like an overview. It's huge. All right. It is gargantuan. Now, if we open up the uh, official site here, again, it kind of just shows uh, if you wanted to see that right here. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, yes, yes. Here's some... I think these are some better shots of it that you can kind of see here. Uh, again, I can't... Unfortunately, I can't open these up and zoom in. But yeah, guys, it's... It's going to be huge. It looks amazing. Can I open this one? Here we go. There we go. This one's a lot better quality. Like, look at this. There's Capsule Corp over there. There's, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, the Corrin's Tower and stuff. Um, oh my goodness, dude. That right there kind of looks like Canton City. <laughs> a little bit. Dude, whole ass Xenoverse 2 sitting in there. Like, they got cities within cities within cities. Like, it's crazy, dude. Kami's lookout, like Jesus, Frieza's spaceship. Oh my God! Like just the thought of this just blows my mind. Okay, like they got money, y'all. They got money to be making this shit. <laughs> That's insane. So y'all, let me know your thoughts and opinions about this down below. Um, when it drops, are you gonna go fly over uh, to Saudi Arabia and check this out? I might, I might have to. That's gonna, it's gonna be expensive though. I already know this is gonna be an expensive thing if you want to, you know, check this out. But thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, ring my notification bell, and have a great day. Peace. <laughs> this is Broly, and you are watching Slow Plays. Make sure to subscribe, or else I'll destroy your entire planet. <laughs>